Hey Learning Birds, this is Mr. Ozarka with another lesson brought to you by LearningBird.com. If you have any questions about the following video, you can email me at mrozarka at gmail.com. All right, here we go. All right, so this is going to be a video about quantitative and qualitative data. Basically, the difference between the two is that quantitative data is based on quantities, while qualitative data is based on qualities. In other words, one is based on numbers and the other one is based on words. Let's get a little bit deeper in the understanding of the two. First, we're gonna start with quantitative data. This is basically any information that can be counted, measured, or expressed numerically. This data can be used in mathematical computations as well as statistical analyses. It is also important to know that quantitative data can either be discrete or continuous. Discrete data deals mostly with whole numbers. This means that there would generally be no fractions or decimals. An example would be something like the number of people in your family or the number of pets that you have. You cannot have 2.5 dogs or 1.2 family members. So this would be examples of discrete data. Continuous data, on the other hand, can have fractions and decimals. These tend to be based on measurements such as height, age, weight, mass, density, volume, things like that. In contrast, qualitative data is based on observations from any of your senses, so whatever you can see, smell, hear, taste, or feel. Words and descriptions are used as well as opinions and thoughts rather than numbers. It is important to note that some people are better at describing things than others. Some commonalities between the two types of data are that they both are used in science or the study of anything. Both involve gathering information, both involve a lot of practice and patience when gathering and organizing the data. So you might be thinking, who cares about qualitative and quantitative data? Well, it is probably a good idea to figure out which type of data you have a knack for. This can help you find possible career choices given your strengths or just what you actually prefer between the two. Quantitative data careers include statisticians, data analysts, accountants, chemists, physicists, engineers, and basically any other science that involves a lot of math. Qualitative data careers include forensic scientists, evidence technicians, artists, writers, things that are more visual. So that's quantitative and qualitative data. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know. And if you thought this lesson helped you, please be sure to click this was helpful. For other great lessons, be sure to check out learningbird.com.